walls, interior walls. We don't have a floor yet or a roof. We will be getting to that later. You can draw the interior walls without the floor just to begin with. So let's go to Project Browser and let's go to the main floor plan. So let's refer back to the client sketch just so we have an idea of how we're going to be laying this out. This area is defined as the classroom, washrooms over here, and then there's just like a stair core right there. These are the walls that we're going to draw. We'll draw maybe this wall first, and then we'll do that one just to define the major spaces. Okay, so let's go to the wall tool, and we're going to be picking an interior type wall. So let's just scroll through and find something. Let's go with the start. Let's go to a 4 and 7 eighths inch partition. So just click on that. Now, as you draw interior walls, we also have to think about the height and the location line. We're going to put these up to the top of roof plate as well, and we can adjust this after. So let's just do top of roof plate. And then the location line, let's just keep it at the wall center line. Interiors work out quite well with wall center line as the location line. Good. So we said that we were going to draw perhaps this wall going across here. Now you saw I wasn't too specific. I drew it at 9 feet, but that will change. So I'm just going to go back over here, maybe that far. Now it wants to continue on that sort of line of drawing. We don't have to. We can just hit escape and then just start again up here. Just maybe draw it down to there. Okay, let's hit escape again. But you'll notice that there's these alignment lines. Those are those green dashed lines that you'll see. So if I just click there and then draw across over to here, then it's going to be lined up. Okay, and then we'll go back up to there. And then let's just hit escape twice, and then we're out of the command. Okay, let's just confirm what we've done. We'll go to 3D, and we can zoom in. Okay, back to the main floor. So we're going to build some walls in here to define the washroom space. Okay, so here's the sketch. We're going to draw one there, and then a space here. It looks like there's a little shower enclosure in there. Okay, so I'm going to go to the wall tool again, and just confirm that I am using the 4 and 7 8 inch partition. So top of roof plate for the height, wall center line. And then I think we were just going to draw something like that. Hit escape once. And then there's going to be just a small wall in there. And then just hit escape again. 